Hello and welcome to Echocalations Tutorials. Uh, I am Aaron and I'm going to be showing you today just a quick run through with Analook on how to get the species list into Analook, how to label your calls using the species list and how to count the calls that you've just labeled. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to open up Analook. It's a fresh install so it's all defaults. Uh, what you'll see is you'll have a species list bar along the top and a header bar along the bottom. If you do not have these you can go to view and all you need to do is make sure everything has a tick next to it by clicking on the ones that don't have a tick. That will bring up the bar which is missing. So what we're going to first of all do is we're going to get our species list into Analyte. The species list that we're going for is the one that is supplied with uh, echo collation is species uh, well, it's echo collation species dot ars. I recommend sticking this somewhere where you're not going to move it first of all in your computer, because uh, every time you move it to a new location, Analook can't keep in track with it. So you have to reload it in using the process, which I'm going to show you right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to select one of these longer buttons in the middle, and we're going to click load. And then what we're going to do is navigate to where the species list is held. So what where mine is, is in test data, echo collation, and then the dot ARS is here. Echo collation, sp echo collation species dot ARS. Then we're just going to click open. And what you'll see is the species list buttons have all been labeled with shorthands for UK bat species. So on the first line we have the pipistrels, second line we have myotis, third line we have nuttalis and serotine, fourth line we've got horseshoe bats, the long-eared bats and we've got Barbastel. We've also included U-Bat for anything you don't know what it is. So once that's all la loaded, all we need to do is we need to start analyzing our calls. So I'm just going to open up some calls that I've got in here. Here we go. And you'll see these ones are already labeled because on the header bar at the bottom you can see next to species it says CPIP. If it wasn't labeled It'd be blank, which I'll just quickly show you. I'm just going to go to next file using the arrow button, or you can push W on your keyboard. So here we go. This is an unlabeled call. As you can see, next species, it has nothing next to it. So I'm just going to change uh, the view on Analog slightly just so it looks a wee bit nicer by changing the frequency scale to 0 to 120k. Also, going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to compress the calls uh, F1 to F10. Well, F1 to 10 uh, zooms in the calls. The compression button just brings all the calls together so they're easier to see. I'm also just going to turn on the measures uh, window by pushing M for mother on the keyboard. And that appears as a purple bar along the right hand side and makes the maximum frequency of the call, uh, well, not the maximum energy of the call appear red. And then just to so show we can see the maximum energy a wee bit better, I've got to turn on the cycles as well. So you can see on the bottom right hand corner of cycles, that's the maximum energy of the call there. Well, where the the maximum peak is. Alright, so here we go. Uh, I can see this is a column pip, so I'm just going to push the column pip button, which is C pip. And I'm going to go to the next call, either by pushing this arrow or by pushing the W key. So in here, I believe this, I'm just going to uncompress it using the spacebar button and go along the call using the arrow keys just so I can, because I thought I saw something else in here. Yeah, I believe this would be a C pip and an S pip in here. So what I'm gonna do is I click the common pip button and the soprano pip button. So I have two calls here, you can see it's labeled. Then go to the next call and I'm gonna do the same, common pip and soprano pip. And the next button, I'm gonna label this a soprano pip. Oh no wait. I've labeled this one wrong, but that's no problem. What I can do is I can use the clear button that deletes the label from this call, and then I'll label it with the correct species, which is a common pip. Then what I do is I go through all my calls like that until I've done my whole session or my whole season for an off analysis. And then one once that's done, I'm not counting them up on tallies or anything on bits of paper. All I'm going to use is the count labels tool within Analook, which is tools. I'll just quickly show you that again. Tools, count labels. And I'm just going to change the settings here. So the settings that we're going to use are three subfolders, one minute, by day, and no dummy lines. 
where then you got you know have to select the file which is going to count from. So we're going to go into change. I want to navigate to where my files are, which are uh, probably a wee bit deeper from where yours will be. Uh, so desktop's a wee bit harder to find in this. So desktop, test data, and mine are in the Analux files. So if I go into here, you can see my files, my Analux files uh, are in this folder. And then why we're using three on this on this number of folder fields is because we go one, two, three, that's the file we're counting from. So our calls are three subfolders down. So I just gotta click OK and then run. This will then just ask you to save the output. I'm just gonna call mine test data. And I'm just gonna save it to my desktop so I can find it quickly. And that's it, run it. It does it really quickly. If there's only a few calls, it has to count up. If there's 10,000 calls, it'll take uh, maybe a minute or two to go through them all. So once that's done, we'll just close this. And we'll close, uh, we'll just minimize Analyc for now. So here's my test data output, which was created by Analyc just there. Open that up and you can see we've got the SM2 name. Well, for us, an SM2 name could be an Anabat. This was a folder created by myself. I'm going to go through folders in more depth in a, in a separate video. Next is converted folder. Next is the date folder. Then the day folder, which is uh, the day which is done by Analyc itself, uh, well, or by Kaleidoscope, I mean, sorry. And then the time, which is also done by Kaleidoscope, and then the labels, which are, we have inputted. And then it tallies up the ones which are in the same minute. So this one had two common pips in the 2137. So if these, if your time here is appearing 12 hours long uh, before or after, which it should be, then all you need to do is change the tools, count labels, the time bit here to by date, only if it's appearing 12 hours off. So if uh, it should be in 24 hours time. So if this is saying like 934, it's 12 hours off and you just need to change the setting here to the opposite one to what you've got selected and rerun the count for that session. Okay, and that's your file there, your count uh, file there is all ready to go into echo collation. Uh, that's when you're asked to find your count file. That's the one that you'll be looking for to get all the data into echo collation. Um, if you've got any further questions and anything to do with uh, count files, the or count label tool, your labeling your calls, or your getting your species list into Analyc, just give me an email uh, with the email address below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, thank you very much for your time and we'll speak to you in the next tutorial.